Welcome to Clips, a quick review of facts or factoids taken from our more in-depth videos. We haven't even done an in-depth video on this gun yet. I don't know what I'm saying. Once again, I've decided to make a special message about the Colt 1873 single action army revolver or reproductions thereof. In one of our previous clips, we investigated a unique hammer block safety for this particular wheel gun. This was done as part of reproducing the arm in order to make it drop safe. No blammo. Well, I asked if anyone could spare any parts they may have that display another lock mechanism, and I had a couple takers, so let's see another one of those today. Just as a reminder, we actually saw this guy first, so if you haven't seen that video, check it out. Do not <laughs> ask me about this one, we've already done it, but let's get to the new guy. The new guy is actually a combination of two sort of components and processes. It's not uncommon to find a floated firing pin hammer these days, which means that the firing pin is loose in there and therefore at rest will not push on the primer. But this one goes a step further because this recess is so far in there that if you were to drop this hammer without the extra part that I'm going to show you in a moment, this guy's not reaching the primer. He's not putting a dimple in it. The gun's not going bang. So if this were locked back and it were dropped and it cracked off the tooth and this fell and hit the primer, there's still nothing going to happen. It has to be extended. Now, the way it's extended is by pressing on this plunger. So if I push that guy all the way in there, he's nice and deep. Now watch the uh, firing pin as I push on the plunger. Ooh, he poked out. And he's being held rigid as long as this pin's being held in. So he doesn't go in. If I let go of the pin, he goes in. It's not a lot of motion, but certainly enough to keep it from striking a primer. When you pull the trigger on this particular design, a little extra extension that's been added to it hits this oh, plunger right here, which is attached to the transfer bar mechanism, or practically is the transfer bar mechanism, although it is sprung downward. So when we pull the trigger, it would, as it was assembled, and it's kind of hard to do outside the gun because there's none of the tension that's supposed to be there and the parts aren't held in alignment, but I'm gonna cover up a little bit of my work, sorry guys. But this would be here, as you pull the trigger, it's going to push that guy in like that, and therefore it's gonna be rigid. So in other words, the only way that the firing pin can reach the primer on fire, see, hammer comes down, boom, look at that nice alignment there, see how deeply it's pushed it? That's the only time that you're gonna be able to have this rigid enough to actually set off the gun. It's actually a really cool little system, although, boy, that's a lot of extra fitment and spring and everything else going in there. That's pretty cool. I wonder what Colt would have thought of it. Now, thank you, Tim, for sending this over for all of us to enjoy today. If you have a system that we haven't covered yet and perhaps have retrofitted your 73, well, maybe you could send us the bits so that we can share them with everybody else. All right, have a good one.